today is spreads so they call home remedies out of home remedies what we are trying to understand today is progen shoulder what is it? what is the progen shoulder friends the we have shoulder the shoulder got struck you know and also we are unable to move the so called this hands right hands movement like this and rising up and keeping down and uh, taking you know here and there moving it so all this you can't do it so that kind of locking happened in the so called the soldiers the soldiers that particular uh, the kind of a uh, the locking of uh, the soldiers that's called progen shoulder progen the shoulder got progen it can't move properly and it will have pain also right the shoulder in the human body is made up of three bones along with muscles ligaments and tendons please remember and please remember this okay the shoulder should be flexible to allow easy movement to arms once we lock the flexibility of the shoulders it causes several severe several, several problems like shoulder pain frozen shoulder shoulder arthritis shoulder dislocation these are so many kind of diseases will start the moment so there's a, there's a kind of a flexibility of shoulder is lost the flexible ligaments like this so whatever the, whatever i want to do with the shoulder the shoulders i should be able to do it then i have a good flexibility if the flexibility is lost definitely is going to cause problems like shoulder pain frozen shoulder shoulder arthritis and shoulder dislocations this will come now by nature human stands at the two feet my dear friends the two two feet we will be always standing is that it standing and standing and walking puts lot of uh, stress on the shoulders so when you are standing or when we are walking lot of stress will be uh, you know it will be keep developing on the especially on the shoulders so the causes pain the this causes the pain in the shoulders a condition known as progen shoulder so friends so particularly <laughs> whenever we get a kind of a pain in the shoulder so that that becomes a progen shoulder slowly so that's what will be many people will be going through the progen shoulder is caused by wrong posture while standing or sitting is also very important friends whenever you are sitting and you know so don't sit like this one side don't sit like this one side okay and uh, basically you should stay, sit straight like this or you are standing also stand erected straight erected standing also so if you stand like this stand erected sitting like also stand erected st sitting like stand erected then what will happen the uh, the possibility of getting this frozen shoulder will reduce by difference please remember this okay now whenever the frozen shoulder happen so some things can be practiced at the home itself right what is that place a steam towel around the shoulder on the around the shoulders what happen so that also you can do like a, a steam that means a steam means like little hot Part uh, no the cloth around this uh, around the shoulders around the shoulders you put it so that will reduce the shoulder pain or the shoulder locking or frozen shoulder and also relax and listen to music just you got relax got relax relax and then keep listen to music that also is going to remove stress and then the slowly this uh, frozen shoulder will come down friends now bath in lukewarm water and exercise or massage the shoulders. So these things and all we can do definitely whenever you are suffering from the frozen shoulder. Take B vitamin, friends, to cure, to cure the frozen shoulder. It's also very important. B one vitamin, B one vitamin. Hot water and ginger are very effective for frozen shoulder. Just mix it and drink it as a kasaya. Is that it? That will be much helpful. If the shoulder pain persists for a long time, an English doctor should be consulted to see if there is a, any uh, shoulder injury or other cause. Okay. Otherwise, generally. The normal, uh, whatever the treatments we give at the home through acupuncture, mudra, all these things, especially, it will go away. But it doesn't go away. I mean, there is no. You need to check in a different angle that is there any uh, fracture or is there any great injury with uh, you know damage, any da anything damaged inside the soldier shoulder. You need to understand accordingly. You should take the further steps, my dear friends. To do that, it's always safe for us. Okay, now, so friends, see here. So to cure the frozen shoulder, I will try to teach you today some exercises, very simple exercises. So you have to sit straight. When you sit straight, what will happen? Now, so what you need to do is the head, you know, the head you have to tilt in the front side like this, slowly, and then come back to the right side, slowly, like this. So this is exercise number one, okay? Bending your head left side or right side. So like this, if you keep bending, is what happened? That's the first step, my dear friend. Second, what is the second exercise? Slowly, what happened? 
slowly take your head the head should be slowly down down the head and with the chin with the chin touch the the so called the chest come up go down so this is the second one okay what about third one friends the third one is rotating the head clockwise and anti clockwise like this So in the other direction now. Right? So this is the, the uh, third one. So then fourth one, in order to cure the progen sold, I'm telling you, these are the exercises. Please follow it. Or is suffering from suffering from the progen sold, right? Now rise your shoulders like this, like this. You, know? you have to rise. If you rise like this, what happened? Definitely. This shoulder pay the frozen shoulder will come into control. Do this, okay, like this many times. Just simple, like this. You try to do this now, friends. So learn. Uh, then you have to lean back on your, you know, what happened? Chin and chin roof. That means you are looking at the roof. You are looking at the roof. The chin will be focusing on the roof. You will be see. You will be seeing the balls, the ceiling above you, and then you are bending, bending backward like this. So what you have to do is. You have to put your both hands at the hips place, then give a support and go in bed like this. As much as you know, you're possible, you have to bend like this. Okay. You are uh, you'll be facing the chin towards the ceiling. So, like that, if you do, this is one of the exercise, friends. Okay. With this, what happened? You get great relief from the frozen shoulder, friends. Now, in the acupressor, what kind of treatment is available? Yes. Acupressure practitioners connect the soldier, shoulders with the lung energy. Friends, what they do is the shoulder, uh, the shoulder, especially shoulder will be connected to the energy of the lung. Okay. So it has been observed that people under emotional stress always complain the shoulder pain. Many of the people who have got a lot of emotions in the mind. Okay. A lot of emotions are there which are suppressed. So in that point of view, what happened? That all that you know, will come as a pain or reflected as a pain in the shoulders, my dear friends. So that it will all come into the shoulders. That, that's what we know you need to understand. Now, so what happens, friends? People who, who, who take a lot of responsibilities, especially a lot of people, you know, some of the people take a lot of responsibilities and inability to express emotions. So then this pain will be aggravated. It will be much, much increased, friends. So that's why so it is very essential that you know the emotional health must be maintained properly in order to avoid the so-called frozen shoulder. So that is why we activate, friends. So with this, what happened? So the energy, lung energy is connected to the so-called the soldier, shoulders, right? So that is why what we do, we try to activate one is shoulder points, second is lung points. These two points, if you start activating, then what happened? Slowly, this frozen shoulder will be solved. Okay. Now let's see what are the two steps we need to follow. Activate shoulder points and with the lung points in both hands. Okay. And activate the lump node point. Friends. So what are these uh, points especially? If we look at if we look at the picture, we'll understand, isn't it? Right. See the picture here. You can understand here. There are two points. Any, any, any uh, you take this hand or this hand, any, any hand. Observe it. Two points are here. These are two points. One more point here. These two points basically, right? These are shoulder, shoulder points. These two are shoulder points. This is a lung point. This is a lung point, the shoulder point. This one, how do you need to press? Like you know, closely. Just gently touch here, keep it for five seconds and leave it. Keep it for a second, leave it. Similarly, this point also. These are lung points, these are the shoulder points. Both points have to be activated on both the hands. You know, at least for a three to five minutes, you have to practice like this. Okay. Now, friends, this is this, this is the way you have to do it. Finally, what you need to do in order to come out of the position shoulder, there is one more point called the limp, you know, the limp gland. The limp gland is here. You see here. So this uh, this ankle. Uh, that, that, that juncture from the two fingers you keep it, then mark the point here, the center. Okay, this center you have to activate. The center you have to activate minimum to minimum 20 to 30 times, like this. Like this, 20 to 30 times. So keep observing, keep pressing, little, little, you keep pressing, and then release it. 
like that if you do it is called lymph gland point so it's also going to cure your frozen shoulder my friends okay so with this friends so we are closing the today's session